Today, I'm gonna to show you some of the best deals on Amazon that you can get for your gaming gear. Now, it's not Black Friday yet, that's in a few days, but still, all these deals are active, and I've seen from vendors what the price are gonna be, and again, a lot of them are active right now, so I think if there's anything you're looking for, you can pretty much scoop it up right now, and then if there's a few random, you know, sprinkled special deals on Black Friday, then you can get those, so again, Let's get our hands on these deals while we can right now. And I will break this down into sections and I'll have timestamps right down below for you as well. Gaming headsets, keyboards, mice, and random stuff that we find so you can search exactly what you're looking for. But I wanna kick it off with gaming headsets, of course, and what better place to start when the Razer Black Shark V2X at $39.99. I love this, this is one of my absolute favorite budget gaming headsets. It's stinking cozy, hands down. The sound is fantastic, the mic is great. Oh, and check this out, we actually have multiple colors on sale. I'm not a green person, I like black and red, right, white, but wow, that green just looks stinking sharp. Now the white one is showing currently unavailable. A bit of a stinker, but at least we got the black and the green available right now. Let's keep rolling with the Razer Black Sharks with the V2 Pros. Mamma mia, this headset is phenomenal. Multiple people have stated it before, this headset just gets praise across the board for a good reason. Sound, comfort, the build, the style, it does everything, and these gorgeous white ones are on sale as well at 100 bucks, regularly 180. I can't say enough good things. You're on PC or PlayStation, unfortunately doesn't work on Xbox, but yo, this headset is so, I mean, I wish the Rainbow Six one was on sale, but the white one is the way to go. It's so, the black and white contrast at 100 bucks, guys, you cannot go wrong with this headset. This is one just to have in a collection. I'm telling you, you'll be able to game for hours with this. The sound, the comfort is just unmatched. Fantastic buy at 100 bucks right here. Now, in my Black Friday or any deal type videos, I always cover products that I personally like, recommend, and would use myself. Unfortunately, with the Razer Kraken X, it's not a headset that I would want to use myself, but it's a great headset for, say, if you have kids that are playing on the Switch, you need a headset to go to school, which a lot of them do these days. At 28 bucks or 29 bucks right here for the Kraken X, it's only this color, not the other colors. Uh, that's where I'd recommend this for kids where you don't really got to worry about them breaking it, but they're still getting a good headset, you know, and it'll fit a kid's head a lot better than an adult size headset. And at 29 bucks, again, if you buy it for that reason, something like that, then it's worthwhile. But no, I wouldn't say get this as your primary headset. So at 29 bucks, again, use it in the right situation. I think you got a good buy. Bringing it back to the Razer Black Sharks again. Again, guys, I can't say enough good things about these. And when I see them on sale, it's just... Again, I just recommend them top to bottom. We got the V2s right here. These are the ones that connect by USB, but you can still connect them by 3.5. So almost I'd say if you can utilize USB on PC, go with these over the V2X because you got you know multiple uses with them. When you plug them into USB, I mean, they sound so much better. Not saying the, old, uh, the other ones don't sound good. It's just a noticeable difference right here. They sound amazing. Now, these are regularly 100 down to 70. Um, the weird thing, when we click on these, uh, what is it, Courage or whatever, his uh, version here, which is blue and yellow, eh, I don't know, I guess you gotta be into that. Anyways, they're $59. So if you can get down with that colorway right there, uh, then you get, save even 10 more dollars. And again, this headset's phenomenal. I kind of personally wish the black one was on sale for the 59 though. But again, yes, I love the V2, the one that goes via USB. So I have two more Razer headsets to show you. I, I break it down by a uh, vendor and everything too, just to make it easier for all of us, right? So two more Razer headsets in the Kyra Pro Wireless. You all know I stink and love this. Regularly 150 down to 89.99, that's 90 bucks right there. What an awesome headset if you're on PC or Xbox. I mean, they are phenomenal on Xbox. They really are. Are the white ones on sale? Let's hope, yes, the white ones are on sale for 89 bucks. But the Halo ones, no, the Halo ones are 129 bucks, but the white and black ones are down to 90 bucks. Guys, if you're on Xbox and you're primarily an Xbox player, I can't recommend this headset enough. It's awesome. You can get the app control in there to really dabble with your stuff, which is just phenomenal. It's really awesome and simple to use. And you can really pull this headset out to something. I really love it at 90 bucks, again getting a white or black version as well. We have the Razer Barracuda X coming in at 50 bucks, regularly 100 bucks. This is the 2021 model, which 
Yeah, so they changed it on the 2022 model. I believe they added Bluetooth. It's not simultaneous Bluetooth, and then they extended the battery. So I believe I even stated it in my 2022 version video when I covered the pink ones. I said, if you can find the original ones for cheaper, I'd go with those. Because again, the Bluetooth, you had to like double press the button to flip over to Bluetooth. You couldn't listen to your music or get a call at the same time while your game audio is playing in the background. It was a bit of a stinker, right? It's not the way I really like Bluetooth implemented into my headsets. So I would still say, uh, go with the Barracuda X at 50 bucks. Wireless headset. It's just, man, it's it's an absolute steal. This is a great one right here. It, it really is a good one. And they don't look goofy like a gamer headset as well at 50 bucks. I love it. Now taking a look at Turtle Beach gaming headsets, kicking it off with the 700 Gen 2 Max, coming in at $139.95, so 140 bucks, down from $200. This headset is phenomenal, guys. Now, out of the box, the one flaw I've stated before is the clamping force is a little tight. Uh, put it on a headphone stand or just, you know, kind of extend it a little bit here and there and it loosens up and it really comes around. But out of the box, clamp force is a little tight. App is a little finicky. Once you get the app really dialed in, it's phenomenal. Because again, you can have your headset on in game, boop, 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 just dabble with what you want, dabble some EQ, some sound tweaking right there, your mic settings right on your phone while you're in game on PC or whatever. It actually works on any platform if you go with the Xbox version. So again, guys, I can't state this enough. This is one of my favorite headsets. What it's packing features and functions top to bottom for the price, it's absolutely amazing at 140 bucks. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this one right here. Again, keep those two things in mind that I stated as far as kind of iffy flaws, but again, you do work them out and it, the headset really comes around. Now, while we're on the same page, I wanna go on and click over to the 600 Max, 600 Gen 2 Max. They're down from 130 to 89. Now, these are, no, they are not as good as the 700 Max. You're talking a pretty good chunk of change, less as far as money, and they're not bad. They're not bad. The worst thing about them is the ear cushions, but you all know you can go get the wicked cushions, slide them right around it, and they fit perfectly fine right there, and that'll make the headset pretty darn good. Now, are the white ones on sale as well? Let's see, 129, hold up, 87 for the Gen 2. I think it just flipped us around somewhere. Yeah, it, it's dancing us all around. USB and then the max at 89. So again, not bad if you're on a budget and you have to stay underneath that hundred dollar price range, not bad, but I would tell you, scrounge up that extra 40 bucks and go with the 700 Gen 2s. Now just looking at our screen, I wanna show you the Recon 70s and the Turtle Beach Recon 200 Gen 2s. I forget what they did uh, updated on the Gen 2s of the uh, Recon 200s. I covered them. I, I think they updated like the ear pads and stuff like that and they were, they were dramatically better, still a little bit tight. Anyways, why I got this pulled up here is both of these coming in at 30 bucks, right? I would put, right? Yeah, the 200s are much better than the 70s, okay? So I'd put it this way. If you're on that budget where you need to be under $50 and you want it primarily for your gaming headset, go with the Recon 200s. That headset is punchy. Now you gotta charge it because it actually amps in it and it really boosts the sound out right there. So again, I'd go to the 200s for something like that. Again, I'm going to bring it back to say if you got kids in school or a kid at home just doing some work on his Chromebook or something like that, get them the seven, the, the Recon 70s. Do not get them the 200 Gen. Why I state that is, again, the Recon 200s, they are punchy. They're allowed. I mean, you're just going to, they're going to be bad for kids' ears. You know what I mean? The 700s, they're toned down a little bit right there. They don't got the amps in them. As far as build quality, I put them both at the same you know what I mean? At $30 price range. So I put the Recon 70s over with like that Razer one we talked about, the X. So kind of cool to have the options here. You know, you, you get the 200s for your gaming setup. You get the 70s for your kids because again, it's going to tone down and just be a little bit safer for the ears. Not to, you know, sound like a crazy dad, but I am. And yes, oh yes, one of my favorite Turtle Beach headsets here is the Recon 500s. Oh, I love this headset. Regularly 80 bucks down to 45 bucks. Now we're looking at the camo version, which is gorgeous. That's the one I have over there. Um, it also comes in regular black. Let me see if we can pull it up. If it, uh, Okay, so the regular black ones are the same price. This is the only downfall I had was that mute button was kind of hard to press right there. But the sound on these are awesome. They got like massive, yeah, 60 millimeter drivers. And they go 3.5, so you can use it on any single platform. Um, I love the white ones. They look so cool. But this headset, guys, at 45 bucks, like, wow. 
if you've been one of the people that's kind of been like, eh, Turtle Beach, you know, you kind of think about back in like, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s, Turtle Beach, you know what I mean? I've always stated, you know, they're coming a long way. And this is proof. This headset right here at 45 bucks. Yo, if again, if you need to stay under that $50 price range, don't second guess this. This is stinking awesome. This headset is great. Heck, you can just look at the reviews right there. Now jumping over to Logitech, taking a look at the G435. Yeah, I know. It's probably not the colorway we're all looking for, right? That's actually the color that I had to review right there, you know, and it's not my go-to color, right? It, it definitely isn't, but that price is my go-to price at 30 bucks, regularly 80 bucks. Whew, I love it. Is this the best headset? No, it's not. It, it, it really isn't, but it is a great headset just to flop on, you know, just game with. Uh, again, if you got kids on the Switch or something, I'd recommend you go this way because it's wireless. You just plug it in right there. You know what I mean? It's super comfortable. The headband can use a little bit more padding, but other than that, super lightweight. I love the styling. It, it's a really good headset. It really is one I have around for 30 bucks, man. You, you can't go wrong with this. This is thinking awesome. Unfortunately, when we go over to this blue and pink, which I think looks a little cooler, it cost, hold up. I just clicked on it and it said, Okay, so it's the black one is $50. Hold on, let me see the blue and pink one. Okay, so the blue and pink one's 30 bucks. I'd go with this color over the white and pastel purple, whatever. I personally with the little lavender color. I'd go with that blue and pink. That looks pretty hot. And at 30 bucks, guys, again, it isn't the best test that you're gonna find. No, you're not, but at 30 bucks, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a good time. And the Logitech G335 is another headset I put right in that category right there. As far as extremely comfortable, something to just keep around. I mean, it's super stinking cozy. One of the coziest right there. Uh, they make a higher end one with the RGB and stuff like that where you can remove the mic. This one, uh, you can't. I'm not sure if it's every color. We got 40 bucks. Okay, on this color, we got 40 bucks. And then the black one, 40 bucks. Me personally, I like the black one right there. Again, best headset you're gonna find, no, but an awesome headset at that price point, going 3.5, gonna work on any single platform. And I guarantee you, it is absolutely comfortable for anybody out there. Here we go, the G733. This is the fancier version of the ones I just showed you. Regularly 150 down to 120. Uh, you're paying for a little bit more fluff. Uh, you got the detachable microphone. You got the RGB on the front. The RGB I couldn't use because it, shined right in my glasses right there. And it was a little bit annoying. If you like that fluff, uh, I guess you got it over here, you know. Um, is it worth 120 if you want the fluff? That's where I'd put it. Uh, me personally, I'd buy the cheaper one, but if you like that fluff, you want something real flashy, then you got the 773s for a little bit of savings. This is one I love. The Logitech G Pro gaming headset, second generation. I don't know if they came out with the second generation of the same headset. Or are they talking compared to the old one? I'm not sure. If you guys know what makes this a second generation, or are they just saying, hey, it's the second G Pro? I'm not, I'm not too sure if they just refresh this or not. But anyways, this headset coming in regularly at 100 bucks on sale for 50 Yo, this headset takes the cake. It is stinking awesome. The comfort is the only thing because it doesn't have the swivel, right? So uh, glasses or whatever, it gave me the presses up here, kind of like on a HyperX headset, but 50 bucks. This headset, whatever game you're playing, first person shooter, new Call of Duty, something like that, a story game, the sound on this is fantastic. Mm, it's uh, The build is great. The only thing it lacks a little bit is the comfort. Again, slap on some wicked cushions and you'll fix that. But at 50 bucks, man, I love this deal. Now looking at the G Pro X wireless headset, Coming in at 170, regularly 230. I honestly thought they were 200 when they released. Am I mistaken here? Help me out, guys. I thought they were 200 when they released. I, I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, again, an awesome headset. I stink and love it. 170 is pretty steep. I'd personally go with the wired one. Again, being only 50 bucks. I mean, you're talking $100 cheaper, $110 cheaper. You know what I mean? That's the way I would go. But if you want something wireless, you want to stick with that Logitech platform, that great build, you cannot go wrong with this headset right here. You're saving some money. So again, think about what you need and go with it. Me personally, again, I'd save the money and go with the wired version. But if you want wireless, this is a fantastic headset as well. Now going over to Corsair gaming headsets, kicking off the Virtuoso Wireless, the XT version here at $199. It's an expensive booger. 
It is. Even, look at the regular MSRP at 270 right? So it, coming out the gate, it was an expensive headset. Phenomenal build. Absolutely amazing build. Amazing microphone. Amazing features. You got like separate controls for Bluetooth and game. Yo, I absolutely love it. It does everything right. Comfort can be iffy, right? You definitely got to get your Wicked Cushion slide. It sounds like I'm plugging Wicked Cushions everywhere, right? But again, they don't know I'm mentioning this stuff. It's something I truly believe in. Slap your Wicked Cushions on it. Get a headband pad or something. And this headset is amazing. It really is on PC because on console, it doesn't save your settings, unfortunately, which is a bit of a stinker. So with it being a premium price tag, I would say if you're primary a PC gamer at that premium price tag right there, since your settings with the EQs, because when you dabble with the EQs on this, which I made a video about, whew, this headset just comes to absolute life. It's a different experience. So even though it's expensive, I recommend it and I love the Virtuoso XTs. The Corsair HS80s. I don't even think I need to say anything here, guys. 100 bucks, regularly 150, 750 bucks. Many years know about it. This headset is phenomenal. The comfort, the build, the style, the microphone. It is doing it all. In my video, I recommended it. Recommended it multiple times. You all know all about it. Is the white one on sale though? Yes, the white one's on sale. I have them in one of these boxes. You all know I just recently moved, hence the, you know, lackluster setup here. I have the white ones and they are gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes. This headset is an easy win and an easy recommendation. Now the regular Virtuosos are on sale as well at 150 regularly 199 It's It's again, it's, it's a fantastic headset. It really is. Um, so if you need to stay in a certain price range, again, I like putting different things out there because I know everyone can't just say, hey, let me spend this much. But if you have that much, it's still great. I would say again, find that 50 bucks somewhere else, trade in a game or something like that and get the XTs. But again, if you're at that limited price budget where you have to stay somewhere, still a great buy right here with the regular Virtuosos. Now, looking at SteelSeries headsets, there's not many sales right now. SteelSeries tends to really drop on Black Friday day, which I'll, I'm going to be making another video there just to see if we find out any, again, those sprinkled deals. The majority of these are going to be active and they'll be the same even on Black Friday. But Steel Series does release some other things. And as of right now, they just have the Nova Ones, which is one of their newer headsets out there. And at 50 bucks, I, I love what they offer right here. Again, with that white one is a is an awesome headset. It's just the white with the heather gray is really cool. And 50 bucks, so you're saving 10 bucks off their new platform. Not bad right there. Um, again, when you're in that, I'd probably still point you towards the Black Sharks that we cover because they're $10 cheaper. But if you want to stay in that SteelSeries platform 3.5, again, you got a detachable cable, a hidden microphone. So there's some better features within the SteelSeries from the Black Sharks. But again, you're spending 10 bucks more. So decipher what you want. But it's cool to see the Nova's saving, you know, as little as 10 bucks, even though they're brand new. Now, Astro headsets are also on sale. The A50s, 50 bucks off from 299 to 250, this is the set I have. I think I got the Xbox version, yeah, because it has the gold, and that's also on sale. Um, now for the new ones with the new platforms, you need that switcher, and you can use them across every single one and put the dock up there, which is really cool. You just gotta take it out, bam, plap it in another dock. I don't know how much another dock is. I, I don't think they show it in here. But anyways, it's really cool to be able to do that, and I'm gonna say it again. Get your Wicked Cushions that they just came out with. I just covered them in a recent video. Oh my goodness, it transformed this headset so stinking good. It's absolutely amazing. But again, at 250, you can't go wrong. This is this is a really nice headset. God, my gosh, I hope this coming year that Astro upstate them, updates them just because we need something fresh. But I do like this headset. Now I want to let everyone know about the Astro TRs, the A40 TRs right here. Now, as you can see, this is $99 from 150. And I get this comment a lot in regular videos, but also during the holidays. Oh, hey man, the Astro A40 TRs are on sale for $100. Should I get them? Well, when you buy Astro headsets without the amp or the DAC, it's just, well, just kind of a headset. Yeah, they got great styling, great build, a great name on them, right? 40 millimeter drivers, you're not gonna get anything special with them. You're gonna plug it in your controller and be like, yo, what's everyone talking about Astros about? You know what I mean? Make sure you get the one with the amp or the uh, amp DAC combo right there. You can really dabble. That's what brings the Astros to life, you know? I would recommend these if, say, you already have the amp, you just wanna kind of refresh 
your headset, or maybe you got a real audio file amp deck and you wanna really just dabble with them just because it's a really cool headset. That's where I recommend these, and that's where they come in at a good deal. But I wanted to put these out there, number one, for the deal, but make sure you're buying the deal for the right situation. If you got that amp deck or you have an amp on your set or whatever, don't just buy this as a basic 3.5 headset, which is what you're buying right here. Make sure you have one of those two options and then you're gonna have a great buy. Now, of course, we couldn't have a headset list without HyperX on here, and we gotta kick it off with the Cloud 2s, guys, at 59 bucks, 60 bucks from $100. Absolutely great buy right here, a great headset. I absolutely love it. As you can see, so many people love it at 116,000 reviews, almost at five stars. I don't need to say anything else, you know what I mean? I mean, it says it all right there. Now, the only thing I would stack this up against is the Logitech G Pros, the wired one. I don't know if they were, were they like 49 or 59? I forget, I forget what we looked at right there. Uh, you know what, let me just type it in real quick here. Let's see, uh, G Pro headset. What do we get? How much were they? 89, that's the USB version, 59. Okay, so they're 59. So they're the exact same as the HyperX Cloud 2s right here. So you just pick which platform you wanna be on. Both of them sound amazing. They got pretty much the exact same build. Um, me personally, I'd go with the HyperX because I love the color theme right there. But again, they both sound awesome. They both have a great build. I recommend both of them easily, I, I really do. Now, if you wanna go a little bit lower, not too much lower, but definitely lower in price coming in at $40 compared to the 60, you can go with the Cloud X. Now, if I'm thinking correctly, these have slightly smaller drivers than the Cloud 2s. And again, you're not getting kind of that pizzazz on it, right? With the stitched headband and stuff like that. But at the core, you're getting the same. This is a great headset for, again, if you're on a lower budget, again, I put it in that class of, do you need a headset for your kids or something? This is a great buy. This is really good. Again, the stinker with the HyperX, the same like with the Logitech where you don't have the swivel. Um, this is great at 40 bucks, guys. This is an awesome headset. Again, maybe for your kids gaming or something like that. You know, get yourself the Cloud 2s, get your kids to Cloud X, you know what I mean? So, uh, or something like that. You know, that, that'd be really cool. This is a great headset for even a gift or something, you know, being at that $40 price range, you're staying underneath 50. Awesome buy right here. Another awesome buy is the HyperX Cloud Stingers. Mamma mia, I have covered this headset so much. It's been on my top five budget gaming headset list for so long. I always love it. You know, at 30 bucks, regularly 50 bucks, it's fantastic. The sound, you're not getting that budget sound. Yeah, the build's plastic. You have metal hinges in there and everything though, but you got flip up mic and everything, fully pleather ear pads. Um, yeah, there's flaws in it, but it's a budget headset again. But the sound, like I stated before, is not budget. Now, yes, they did recently update them. As you see here, I doubt these are gonna be on sale. No, they're regularly 30 bucks right there. They changed the pads to all cloth. They changed the styling and everything. But again, I'd still, I'd still point you in the direction of the old Stingers right here at 30 bucks. Again, this is a fantastic budget buy. Now, there's one last HyperX headset I wanna show you, or I guess two, I don't know how you wanna put it, but the Cloud Flights. You got the Xbox, you got the PlayStation version, you got the Flight S. Now, as you can see right down here, the Flight S says renewed. I can't really find them as far as new. So, again, I'm not a big fan of buying the renewed ones. Anyways, talking about the flights, the Xbox version, you got your controls up there for chat and game. On the regular version, you don't. So again, that doesn't work on PlayStation, you know what I mean? On the Flight S, you have them. I love the Flight S's, they're, they're really cool. Um, but again, the flights in general, the whole line of the flights is, I really think, the underdog of wireless headsets. It's an absolutely awesome headset. I'd recommend more the Xbox if you're on Xbox. Um, if you're on a PlayStation, I'd say, man, let's hope we can find the Flight S's, which again, I can't give them to pull up. But again, if you're looking for a wireless headset, definitely do a little more research on us. Watch some of my reviews on them. It's a really phenomenal headset, an underdog wireless headset for sure. Now let's go on and end the headset segment on an absolute bang. And I mean a bang, because these bad boys are coming in at $700 regular MSRP of $900. So you have a very big savings, but yes, you still have a very big price tag. But the Odyssey LCD GX is an absolutely awesome pair of headphones slash gaming headset. 
How you're getting a gaming headset is, well, of course you got that styling, but that microphone right there. And they actually give you different cables. So you can detach that out and then just have your basic cables going in there without any microphone, which is how I use mine, right? And this headset is built awesome. You're getting a true planar magnetic. These blow as great as the Penrose are. These blow those out of the water. 10 times, 100 times. Right, make sure you got an amp, amp DAC to really drive them and push them out right there. But yeah, as good as the Penrose are, these are that much better and that much more expensive. Well, the Penrose are actually $300, which they're not on sale right now. So yeah, they're more expensive. But again, guys, if you want an absolutely amazing gaming headset slash pair of headphones, getting into the audio file, like you're in head first into the audio file class right here with these guys. Um, an absolute phenomenal savings guy. I've never seen these on sale this much. And again, they're expensive, but they get a complete recommendation from me. All right, so our next section is going to be gaming mice. And come on, we got to start it off with the Logitech G Pro X. It's a mouse that everybody should have and have tried. If you haven't tried it, pick it up. It's 109 bucks. It's still a pricey mouse that we kind of wish was updated a little bit more. USB-C, maybe Bluetooth or something like that. But 109 bucks, this is just a mouse that needs to be in every gamer's collection. And you have to be able to say, yeah, I've tried the G Pro, just so you can see what it's all about. And I believe every color's on sale. You got the pink one here, you got the black one at 109. It's an absolutely phenomenal mice mouse and you're saving 50 bucks. And I'm sure a lot of people will ask, well, hey man, the regular G Pro is cheaper coming in at 78 bucks. And yeah, it is, and it's, you know, you're talking about lightweight. Is, is it that much of a difference going to the lightweight one? And it's not so much just the lightweight, it's the balance of it and everything. It just feels, I'm not a lightweight, crazy mouse person. You all know that, you know? But I would still say go with the G Pro X, but if you want something that's a little bit lofty, you're like, yo, I'm really not into the lightweight mice, at 78 bucks, it's, it's still a fantastic mouse. It really is. Now, the G305, the egg, right? We all know about it. It's on sale from 50 down to 29. Unfortunately, the other colors aren't on sale. That's a bit of a stinker. I would have liked to have seen that, but right now it's only the white one coming in at 30 bucks. You all know about it, right? It uses batteries. You can put your uh, AAA adapter in there and everything. It's just, again, it's one of those mice that you gotta say, yeah, I've tried it before. And it's just such an awesome budget mouse at $30. And the Logitech G604 here is one of my favorite Logitech mice. I love it. What was I playing? New world where I used it a lot, you know what I mean? Or even productivity like video editing, Final Cut and stuff like that. It's a lofty little booger, but it really is. It's a great productivity mouse. The buttons are squished up a little bit, so if you got chunky thumbs, they'll fit in there. There's just so much packed into it. And at 50 bucks, man, just try this one, right? No, it's not gonna be your primary game. I guess pending what you play, you know what I mean? But the G604 is stinking awesome. It's absolutely solid. At 50 bucks, and you take it out of the box, like, Man, I just got such an amazing deal for this awesome mouse at $50, you know what I mean? So I recommend you try this one. Really cool mouse and saving 50 bucks. Now the Logitech G303, the Shroud Edition, right? The newer one is on sale for 100 bucks from 130. Man, this mouse, like, I can't recommend it. I think I even stated it in my video, right? I can't recommend it, but it's something fun to try. I've heard people maining this, like I could never, I can't tell people like, yo, you gotta get this mouse right away, right? It's such a unique shape. It's fun to use. It's really different, you know what I mean? It's something you'd have to try and be like, okay, I can get down with it or I can't get down with it, you know? So I guess since it's on sale, it's a great time to give it a try. Now jumping over to Razer Mice, they got the Basilisk V3 down from 70 to $50 right here. This mouse is really awesome. Again, if you're into like that, that was the Logitech G, uh, I forget the stinking name, but real popular one. That's exactly what you got right here. Phenomenal RGB. Now this is the wired version coming in at that price. Uh, let me see. So the, you are talking 70 down to 50. Let me see if the Basilisk V3, if it comes up. The V3 Pro is unfortunately not on sale yet. We'll probably find a V2 Pro eventually on sale. But first, coming over to the Orochi V2, down from 70 bucks, which was a crazy MSRP, I thought, when it came out. It should have been cheaper. 
It should have been 40 bucks right here. And it's an awesome mouse at that, real tiny little kind of egg one, you know? It's, it's a great mouse, it really is. And the, my main complaint with it was the MSRP when it came out. I felt like it should have been maybe like 50 bucks or something like that, you know what I mean? It looks like the white one's actually $5 cheaper. Uh, $4 cheaper or whatever, coming in at 35 bucks. Scoop this mouse up, 35 bucks, guys, come on. You know what I mean? It, it's something you gotta try. It's a really fun mouse. Again, it uses batteries. It's quite ergonomic, chunk it in your bag if you're traveling or something like that. This is, this is a good mouse to try at 35 bucks. Okay, so here we go. We have the Basilisk Ultimate, not the V2 or the V3, right? I've tried all of them. The Basilisk Ultimate is another one of those mice that I was like, yo, this thing is too expensive. I think it was like 180, 170 when it came out. I, I like it right here at 80 bucks with that dock. Now, Razer did recently change out their dock to the uh, magnetic one, you know, with the V3. But still, this is cool. Say if you get the Viper, which we're going to talk about in a second, which is also on sale. But this is 79 bucks, or you can get the mouse itself at 59 bucks. That's really awesome. I want you to keep this mouse in your mind right here, right? Because we're, we're going to talk about something else about this eventually. But again, regularly 150 down to 60 bucks. Yo, guys, this is an awesome deal. You know what? Let me just dive right into it. That's going to go to the Razer Viper Ultimate right here. This uses the same dock that I just showed you with the Basilisk. So what you can do, so what is this? This is 75. The Basilisk was, I think, 79 with the dock. So say you get this for 75 with the dock, then you get that Basilisk for 59 without the dock. They can flip-flop. To the dock and, and you just charge up there on a dock itself that's really cool you guys have heard me say multiple times with the razor viper the reason i couldn't use it is the side buttons were pressed in a little bit so i used to put tape on the outside and maybe that's just a me effect i don't know but you know i couldn't stand that that's why i never mained it um, let me see if these other ones are on sale. Yo, the Cyberpunk one is on sale for 80 bucks. Horrible game, awesome mouse. You know, is the white one on sale as well? We are gonna get 79. And then for the pink one, 79. So it looks like the black one's uh, five bucks cheaper right here. And again, for the combination of features, functions you're getting, again, say if you go with the Basilisk 2 or if you already have one or the other, you got multiple options here. And you're getting a quality product for a pretty darn low price tag. And yes, the Razer Death Adder V2. Yeah, they come out with the V3. Is that this one right here that I'm using? Yeah, the V3 Pro right here, the wireless one. This one's not on sale yet, by the way. It's still pretty new. Um, coming in at 33 bucks, guys. It's wired but my gosh, it is a great mouse. The lightweight, the balance of it, it's phenomenal. Regularly 70 down to 32 bucks. I doubt the Halo one's on sale that low. If it is, I'm going to be, yeah, 50 bucks. That's eh, a bit of a stinker. I wish it, if it was the same price as the other one, I would've went in and scoop it. I probably got like 10 Death Adders in my closet anyways, right? But this is a mouse that is at 32 bucks. Yo, you can't go wrong. Same thing with the Razer Viper Mini here, coming in at 27 bucks from $40. Not a bad buy. I'm not a Minnie Mouse type fan, but this is one of the best smaller mice you can get out there. And again, the price tag is like, okay, yeah, let me get it. You know, it's that cheap. Oh, so look at this. The Razer Viper V2 Pro, the newest one they come out with, is on sale. Not as big as a sale. You're saving 22 bucks. 150 down to 127. Yo, I like this much better than the other one I showed you. The price is, again, significantly more. The reason I like this is not because it's lighter weight, that's not my issue, it's that the side buttons stick out a little bit more and it's definitely much more manageable to use. How did I forget about the Razer Death Adder V2 Pro? Also using the same dock as that Basilisk and the regular Viper, the first Viper. So we have three awesome mice that are gonna work on that same dock. That's the cool thing about it. Again, I yeah, I do like the V3 versions or the V2 Viper that they came out with, and, and I'd recommend this uh, Death Adder over any other one for sure. I just stink and love it. I use it on my workstation and my game station. That's my main. It's even the number one mouse on my website, you know. But you're talking $58 here, right? Like, gosh, like this is $150 or maybe even more. You're talking $58 bucks right here. This is, mm, I, I love it. I love that mouse and I love that price tag and I love the platform. If you got the Viper, you got the Basilisk, you're flopping them all out on that dock. You just need one dock and just charge whichever one you're not using at the time. That, that's a really cool, that's a cool piece right there. If you piece all three of them together, buy one of them with the dock and then buy the other two mice and these prices are phenomenal, guys. Like, 
I really like that. I really like that combo and I love all the mice that were shown right there and the price tag just makes it even that much better. This is another cool mouse to just try out and give it a try. The Razer Viper 8K, it's coming in at 40 bucks, so a little bit more than a regular Viper, but I think for that little bit more, it, it, it's gonna be worth your time. It's a cool mouse. Again, it jacked with my head and I'm going back and forth from different games saying, yo, is this 8K polling rate really uh, that good? I don't got any scientific old test type thing to try it out but um i noticed myself playing call of duty better was it just in my head was it actually the product uh, i'm not too sure but i noticed myself significantly just flowing and snapping a lot better with the 8k try this mouse out i even collabed with one of the viewers one of our viewers uh, about it you know and we had cool conversation about it go check out the video and you'll see what i'm talking about but just as a passion and tech fan, uh, you should try this mouse out at 40 bucks and just see how you game. Are you noticing anything different? You know what I mean? And that 40 bucks, I, I think you have a good time with this. As far as Steel Series, they have the Rival 5 on sale. This mouse caught some hate and, and I don't know why, man, because it, it's an awesome mouse. The shape of it is just fantastic. The buttons are laid out great. I played a lot of Destiny with this. I believe they came out the Destiny version, right? And I think I got it over in the closet there. But at 37 dollars 37 bucks, regularly being 60, it's again, it's a really cool mouse. It's one that I had a blast playing Destiny on. So if you got if you're playing a game with like abilities or something like that, that's where this mouse would really come into play. Okay, so this is a lightweight version coming in at 47. I'm mixing myself up here, guys. 37 or 47 so <coughs> $10 more for the lightweight version is it worth it I don't know that, that's up to you you know what I mean the wireless version not on sale and it's from some third-party seller so I wouldn't really mess with that on here and the Aerox 9 is also on sale down from 150 to 109 still pretty pricey um, not the kind of mouse that I use what would it got where you got all the buttons on the side and the bow or whatever you call you know it's just, again, it's not something I main. If you do, you got it on sale right now. It's an awesome shape. It really is. It's built really good. So I guess, again, if this is the kind of mouse you use, you can get it on sale now. now the Aerox 3 is also on sale for $60 from $100. Again, lightweight, a little bit of a smaller mouse, not the shape I could really get down with. But if, if you like that shape, you know, I think they had the Rival 3 or something like that. And they also have the white one on sale of the Aerox 3 for 60 bucks as well. So not, not a bad buy. I got to put this up there, guys. I know this mouse is a little older, but man, it is awesome. It's regularly 70 bucks. It's down to 45.99, so 46 bucks. The Sensei 10. Mama mia, I, I, this mouse... It, it needed a paracord. It's got like a rubber cable, I believe. So I slapped the Lethal Gaming Gear paracord on it. And it was such a fun mouse. It's definitely plumper. It's wider. Think of FK, but much wider out there. You know what I mean? It, it's a really fun mouse. Just to kind of get yourself a flashback, bring it back a little bit. This is a really cool uh, mouse to try right here. 45 bucks. Again, it's, it's a very fun product. Now for HyperX, they have the Haste on sale for $30 from $50 bucks and absolutely awesome mouse i love it it's just it's a little bit bigger like model o but maybe a little bit wider which it fit me really good it's just again i love it it's one of the best uh budget mice out there is the wireless one on sale let's hope so yes from 80 bucks down to 50. yo why, how much was the wired one again let me see we have 30 dollars and then $50. I would say just go with the wireless one, guys. This mouse is awesome. Um, do we think the white one's on sale too? Is the white one on sale? Ah, oh, come on. Only 15 bucks off. Now for Corsair, they have the Sabre RGB Pro, the Champion Series mouse on sale. Again, guys, this is an underdog. I think a mouse that caught slack, which is a dang shame because it, it had a unique shape and a unique flow and it was just an absolute gem to use it really was regularly 60 bucks down to 40 bucks right here um it's man i can't say enough good things about this mouse and it's a shame that it got overlooked is the wireless one let's hope the wireless one oh the wireless one's unavailable oh that stinks so they got c buying options which is usually like third party sellers which you don't want to yeah it's like used and then some weird sellers um but again maybe if you can find the wireless one on sale I'd say scoop it up, but at 40 bucks, 
with the wired version. If you're fine with wired, if you like plumper mouse, say the death adder and you think the death adder is a little bit too big where it flares out, uh, the Sabre does not do that. It kind of comes in a little bit more. So again, it might be a little more manageable for you, easier to flick and dip. This mouse, man, it, again, I stated it multiple times in the videos, it made me sad that it caught slack and you know didn't get covered as much as it deserves because it is a fantastic, it is an amazing mouse at 40 bucks. I easily recommend it. Now, Corsair also has one of their new ones, the Qatar Pro XT a mouse coming out, really lightweight budget mouse coming in at only 25 bucks. If you like that smaller, again, egg shape, uh, think about that Logitech one we, I can't remember these names, they're going over too many, 305? I don't even know. But anyways, you kind of got this a little bit smaller, but a little bit taller and coming in at 25 bucks. If you like that type of shape, maybe a mouse for your kids again at 25 bucks. You can't go wrong with the Pro XT, really solid product from Corsair as well. Now, taking a look at keyboards here we're looking at the Razer Huntsman Mini and I have it pulled up on the linear linear optical switches and why I have that is I just love what they're doing with the linear opticals now with the dampeners on them they're they're softer they reduce a lot of their rattle they just feel and sound so much better it's a very snappy keyboard now if you come over here to the clicky pur purples if that's what you're into it is ten dollars cheaper coming in at 70 bucks when this one's coming in at 80 bucks regularly 129 dollars it's not my favorite keyboard, but again, I um, just because I'm not a 60% guy, you know, that's not my favorite uh, layout, but I do like this linear optical. If you like 60% board, this is a good one. The switches feel absolutely amazing. And this is exactly where I would point you, the Razer Huntsman V2 TKL coming in at $90, uh, regularly 150. This is the 8,000 polarized. So say you get that 8,000 polarized mouse, the 8,000 Polarite keyboard, see what's going on. Hopefully your system can keep up with it, you know? Um, this one I like. Now we're using, uh, so so clicky again. Okay, so 89, 90 bucks for the clickies. Is it doing the same price for the optical or the linears? Or is it gonna, 10 bucks up for the linears. And that's gotta be because they updated them and put the dampeners in them. Before, like when I reviewed, I said, yo, this keyboard's too loud, it was crazy. Even the regular linears were too loud because they bottomed out like crazy, you know what I mean? Um, but now with the dampeners in it, I think that 100 bucks is fair. TKL layout, I'd say go this route over the 60% all day long, few bucks more, but I think in the long run, you're just gonna have a better product and a better experience with the, the TKL hands down. And I'd recommend this be keyboard up now. I used to main this quite a bit until I went to the Death Stalker, which is their new keyboard, which obviously isn't gonna be on sale. Now, Razer has a bunch of their older keyboards on sale as well. I'm not gonna go through all of them because there's quite a few that they have on sale you look at it, but I will show you one of them, the Razer Black Widow TE. Don't tell me they're showing me stinking clicky switches again. They are, the green switches. Why do they always kick it off with the greens? 59 bucks for clicky uh, yellow switches. Yellow switches, it's always more. Always costs more for the linears, right? Anyways, with the yellow switches, I really like this keyboard. I really do. It's got the goofy bottom row, but you can buy the Razer keycaps and, and really fill it out with those PVD keycaps. The keycaps are coming on those basic glossy uh, ABS ones, they stink. This keyboard I love, I love this keyboard. It's got the yellow switches are pretty much like cherry speed silver switches. So it's a fast keyboard, but not too fast where you can still uh, game and type on it pretty good. Even though this is an older board, I really love the TE, the V2 TKL with yellow switches. I really love this board. So again, kind of debate, hey, do you want to spend a little bit more and get that new one with the red uh, linears, with the dampeners, which is yes, the way I would point you, but if you want to save a little bit of money, go this route. Um, a really awesome keyboard, even though it is older. Now the Razer Black Widow V3 Mini Hyperspeed, a heck of a name, but a heck of a keyboard. I love this keyboard, I really do. I, I used it for quite a bit when I was into the 65% hype and everything. Uh, as you can see, I went back to TKL because that's just what I really prefer. Now we're looking at linear switches here. I got it set right this time and it's 100 bucks. The regular MSRP on this thing caught some really big hate at 180. I said it justified it, even though it was expensive, because it's packing a lot. You got the Bluetooth, you got the battery life, you got the fast switch, you got 65% layout, you got a solid build, you got the wireless and everything, you know what I mean? So as expensive as it was, I think it was really packing a lot. At 100 bucks, I think it's a phenomenal buy. It's got PVD keycaps as well. So again, if you want that 65% layout and you want all those features and functions, it's awesome. And of course, when we come over to the uh, tactile, the clicky switches, it's a hundred bucks as well. Finally, they're the exact same. I don't know why the other ones were different prices. So 
at 100 bucks, again, guys, this, if you want that 65% layout, you can't go wrong with this. This is a fantastic board with tons of features packed into it. Now, taking a look at Logitech boards, kicking off the G915, a keyboard I absolutely love. I even got one sitting over next to my desk still. I was kind of comparing it with the Death Stalker, right? And it's nice to see it on sale, 150. We're looking at clickies when we come over to linears. It's also 150 where it jumps a little more when you get in the tactile at 159 being 160 bucks. Uh, the tactile is really nice on this board. I'm not into tactile switches, but I did use it. Tactile for a while is pretty nice because it's low profile. So you can really uh, tell when you press the switches, the linear is almost like too quick and too uh, snappy. You know what I mean? But this keyboard is awesome. Again, packing a great build, awesome features and functions on it. The biggest stinker is the keycaps being those ABS and they use their own, it's hard to find a replacement. I could never finding that fit um, I try to say it didn't work but um, anyways this is an awesome board guys this is great for gaming great for work great for just productivity it's an awesome keyboard now I really think Corsair has some of the best keyboard deals uh, this holiday season talking about the K70 the optical uh, linear switches 8000 polar rate absolute I'd say the best optical switches on the market right now as far as regular when you get into the desk stalker with their opticals I think those are fantastic um, right but as far as a standard switch they're amazing they really are this keyboard packs so much they, again the 8000 polar rate and stuff regularly uh, 180 coming over here being 120 bucks being at the full size now they do have a TKL version of this. I don't know why it's not coming up for us right here. I guess I have to keep searching, but if you're in the market for a full size, again, that's a great buy, 120 bucks. You got PBT keycaps, this thing is a tank. So if you want a full size keyboard, I definitely, definitely take a serious look at this one. Okay, so here we go, the K70, the TKL. Now the optical linear one, which we just looked at right there, this one's not on sale, it's 159 bucks. But when you come up to the regular, say if you go with the Cherry Speed Silvers, 115 bucks and you go to the silent, which is a silent red ones, which is a really nice switch. I really like that switch or a red linear. They're 109 right there. So again, this keyboard's a tank. I see you got all your media controls on it. You got your PBT keycaps, your standard bottom row and all that stuff. It's an awesome keyboard. I used to use this quite a bit. I really, really like this keyboard. Kind of a stinker. I wish the optical one was on sale as well, but a great option for a TKL. Now here is the Mac Daddy of keyboards from Corsair, the K100. Regular MSRP of 250. This thing has everything you can want on it. You got your little dial and your shortcuts over there and stuff. It, it just has a whole lot going on, right? Um, down to 180 bucks. I'd probably, if you're gonna utilize all that stuff, okay, then you go this route. But I would still probably say, hey, if you just want a good solid full-size keyboard, go with that K70. I think you'd be plenty happy. But if you want the, again, the, the creme de la creme right here, you go the K70 or the K100. Now the Corsair K65 Mini is also on sale from $110 down to 70 bucks. 110 bucks might have been a little bit steep when it came out because it was kind of, again, we've kind of seen that platform and style of keyboard quite a bit with the case and everything. At 70 bucks, I like it. You get PBD keycaps, right? You're getting, I believe it's hot swap as well, am I not mistaken? Let me see, Axon processor. I could have swore this keyboard is hot swap, but it's not saying anywhere. Help me out, guys. Axon processor, so you're getting 8,000 polling rate. Double shot PBG keycaps. Son of a gun, I thought this thing was hot swap. I must be thinking about the K70 Mini, which is also on sale here from 180 bucks down to 159. This one I really like, a drastic, double the price of the one I just showed you right there, but this one is really cool. It is hot swap and everything. Um, it's wireless, it has a really cool, unique uh, build to it and style. Really, really fun keyboard. Um, again, you're looking at quite a bit of a different price jump right there. So again, kind of decipher which one you want, but both of them are really uh, cool. Again, just decipher which features, functions you want. Now hold up here, guys. Corsair K60 Pro TKL. Optical linear switches, 8,000 polling rate, Roughly 130 down to 100. I never covered this. Like, did this slide by me? Yo, I'm loving the design. It's got a slim case. It's got 8,000 polling rate. Linear optical switches. So they're using the Corsair optic switches. Yo, when was this thing listed? Hold up. Hold up. We got to figure this out. 
Okay, no, no, no. Let's get, let's get, what was this thing listed on Amazon here? Septem September 13th. Yo, this thing recently released. How did I miss this? Yo, this looks so good. Now, of course, you don't have your media controls on it. That's what's different compared to this one. About a hundred bucks. I love what it's, hap it's packing here. I see that slimmer case, so it might have dealt with some of that sound rattle. Yo, I got to check this out. I, I, I like this again. I'm nerding out right here, guys. At 100 bucks. I haven't used it. But I'm going to check it out myself. Like, what, a review will be coming on this soon. HyperX coming in with the Alloy Origin 60 at 60 bucks. I love this keyboard. I love this keyboard. We're looking at the linears. Are the tactiles on sale as well? Uh, no, the tactiles are not on sale. Looks like the blues aren't even available. This keyboard, if you're into 60%, this is one to get. The switches are nice. The build is phenomenal. The entire keyboard top to bottom uh, all around is an absolute fantastic board. I love it. 60 bucks, you can't go wrong if you're, again, if you're into that 60% layout, which I'm not, but again, this keyboard is phenomenal. At 60 bucks, you can't go wrong. Is there 65% markdown? Let's go and take a look while we're here. Uh, not the reds, you can't even get it. The aquas, you can't get it. How about the TKL? What do we got with the TKL, guys? Come on, give us a good deal. Uh, the aquas, we can get for 52. Nice. Okay, can we get the blues in the TKL? We can get the blues not on sale, though. But the reds is also not on sale. That's crazy. These will be active on Black Friday. I'm pretty positive. But right now, that's 60%. Folks, and on that, that's 60 bucks, guys. If you want a small, compact keyboard, this is seriously one to check out. It's phenomenal. All right, so there we go, our holiday shopping guide. I know some of you probably are asking, hey, Technique, why don't you cover like mouse pads or monitors is a big one right there. Well, I primarily use LG monitors. Never been sponsored, never had a product sent from LG. I've had a phone, but not a monitor or anything like that sent from them. I just love them. And then uh, BenQ monitors. So I'll leave a list down there. Uh, me sitting here talking about them, I think would just kind of go on forever. I'll look at some specs and stuff and put some recommended ones down there. The other thing that I'll put down in the um, description as well, besides links for everything, but I'll put some links for some video games down there. There are some awesome games for sale for like the Switch, the Xbox and uh, stuff like that i'll put those right down there below because there's some seriously other uh, great buys out there i just hate to bore you talking too long but this was our basic holiday guide a lot of the stuff prices will fluctuate i'll still do a black friday video if i see anything worthwhile doing a video but right now these core prices are going to be the same prices you're going to see on black friday right there as well so Hopefully I was able to help you out. Again, all the links are right down in the description. I'll have them over on my website as well, and I'll keep them refreshed. I'll keep the links on the video refreshed over on my website. You'll have the whole list. All that'll stay refreshed as well. So again, you got your source to your gaming gear, your gaming stuff for the holidays right here on this video and then also over on my website. So again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I had a blast hanging out with you guys. My voice is getting a little uh, scratchy here, been yakking so much, right? Um, uh, but again, thank you for stopping by. Hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.